Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going through exercise 2.13 from the Art of Electronics and for this exercise we need to go through a NPN emitter stage with a grounded emitter. We're looking at the temperature effects for this amplifier circuit so let's get started. So exercise 2.13 says that we need to verify that a 8 degrees C rise in ambient temperature will cause a base voltage biased grounded emitter stage to saturate. We are assuming that the initial bias point for the circuit was half of the power supply. So power supply is VCC and the collector voltage is basically half of our power supply over here. So on the screen now, you got the circuit that the question is talking about. We have a grounded emitter amplifier stage with an NPN transistor. We have the VC voltage biased to half the power supply. So the power supply being VCC over here. And this is biased to 0.5 VCC. We have a collector resistor. We have some biasing over here. Now the emitter stage or this amplifier stage, I guess, needs to be voltage biased. So you could do that with a potential divider it could be a power supply as well so what is happening over here is that with the biasing we have set the current up using this bias point or this bias voltage such that we create a current through this resistor to drop half the power supply so if you just look at ohm's law basically v equals ir you set this resistor or this bias point to get a current that drops half the power supply across r1 the question is trying to show you the temperature effects that a grounded emitter stage would have when trying to do this with a voltage biased base and basically it's showing you the temperature effects and how a increase in temperature can cause the amplifier to saturate just by the temperature effect alone. So a few things that the book tells us just before the question is that the collector current which is the current going down this path over here increases by 9% per degree C of temperature change for the circuit and we are setting the collector voltage which is the voltage on the collector pin of the NPN transistor to 50% of the power supply. So that's what we get from the question and this is something that we get just above the question which is very important for answering this question. The question itself is relatively simple. So initially our IC0, let's call it, is such that we have a current through this path that creates 50% of the voltage drop over here and 50% of the voltage drop over here. Let's call that IC0. We know the voltage across R1 and we know the voltage across VCE because we know that this point is set to 50%. So we can say that 0.5 times VCC equals the current through this resistor times the resistance value of the resistor, basically Ohm's law. Now, if you look at the current as a normalized value, basically one and a zero degree temperature change, we basically have one there. Now we know from the book that the collector current changes by 9% or increases by 9% as you increase the temperature by one degree C. So multiplying one by 9% or 1.09 gives us 1.09 as the collector current. Now, as you do that eight times, you basically end up with a value of IC as 1.99. So that's basically telling you that the collector current doubles for a eight degree C temperature change. So you can see IC goes from one over here to 1.99 or approximately two with a eight degrees of temperature change. So this is what we're going to use to answer the question. So we're going back to this equation where we know RC is a constant. We know that the collector current is changing. Changing collector current will induce more voltage across the collector resistor, which is this value over here. So IC1, which is basically, let's call that the collector current at the higher temperature is equal to two times the collector current at our nominal temperature. RC is a constant like I explained before. So doubling IC will double VCC. So our IC will go times two. So the collector current, that means that our voltage drop across the resistor will also go double. And that means initially we had 50% of the power supply across this resistor over here. But if you multiply by two, we're basically gonna get 100% of the voltage drop across this resistor. That means that the voltage drop across the transistor is zero and that the transistor is fully saturated. So the this circuit cannot increase the collector current anymore because there's no room as the resistor is fully maxed out to the power supply and the transistor voltage drop cannot go any lower. So that is basically the answer to this question. So a relatively simple one this time. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe or share this video. Bye for now.